All right, Collider fans, your final CW panel of the day from Ballroom 20. I'm Josh McCoug, along with my partner in crime there in Ballroom 20 all day today, David Griffin. We are your Collider TV talk, San Diego Comic-Con 2017 team. David, we ended with Arrow. I'm a huge Arrow fan, this you know. Uh, I, I, the trailer that we got was a lot of recap of last season right? with some really cool action shots of this upcoming season. Yeah. But nothing really plot-wise because we don't know what's going on. Exactly. They don't want to spoil it because we left Arrow with a, a, an island on fire. Where Lian Yu was on fire, blown up. And bombs was, everywhere. Bombs everywhere. So they can't really say, you know, what happened. The only thing that they did reveal is you are going to get a lot more death stroke. A lot Because, more. you know, you see Manu Bennett at the end be like, I'm going my own way, doing my own thing. And yeah. you see him back in Star City yeah. uh, fighting alongside. You even see him and Ali shaking hands at one point. So I love that they're teaming up. I love Manu Bennett. I know Dennis is a huge Spartacus fan. Um, he's such a good actor. And he, he is death stroke. One is fantastic. And yep. two uh, <clears throat> is some of the best episodes of Arrow. Season two was the best. It's amazing. It was the best. Right? Yeah. Uh, with Deathstroke. So the fact that we are continuing with Deathstroke, he's becoming part of the team. We'll see how that goes. You can never really trust Deathstroke, mm -hmm. but I really, really like that they're they're bringing that back. Michael Emerson now yep. joining the cast, um, and I, you know that cast has been together. Obviously, Arrow started it all with the CW mm -hmm. universe, um, and the the cast obviously gets along really well. I love that we're going to get more of the the Black Siren. Yeah, that we're, that, that 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 actress. Katie Cassidy is good as a villain. Yeah. I buy her as a villain. Totally buy her as yeah. a villain. Uh, I know that I get a lot of hate because I, I just didn't love her what, when they had her on Team Arrow. I love her as this, this opposite world mm -hmm. villain because then she, she crosses into Legends of Tomorrow. But we the Arrow team, we see some of them, but again, we didn't yeah. see really a lot of them. They, were, they weren't giving away anything yeah. at the panel. We don't know who survived the Nothing. explosion. Yeah. yeah. So um, I thought that Arrow really rounds out that day really well. And even mm -hmm. though people are tired, the reception that Stephen Amell gets is something that you don't see in many places. I mean, he's the man. It's a, it's a show that started it all for the CW. I mean, I know yeah. Smallville. I know Smallville. But, I mean, it brought it to really the mainstream, I mm -hmm. think, is Arrow, which just spawned this whole universe. Now we're going to have a fifth show with Black Lightning starting up in uh, early 2018. Yeah. Arrow, uh, the trailer was just totally action-packed. Ends with Stephen Amell. looks like he's diving off a, a yep. freeway overpass or yep. something. Really... A really cool recap and then look forward kind of trailer. And the panel itself, I know it was our last one and the energy in the room. We survived. We did it. I really think that Arrow had found their stride again yep. in season four. And season five looks to be the same thing. No, no more supernatural kind of stuff. Uh, it seems like this that, that they're really going back into that Batman mm -hmm. universe of gritty crime action uh, we'll see what happens, guys. The, the the whole show was left literally on fire on an island. Yep. I think that for me, season five of Arrow is the most anticipated. I've been for Arrow since postseason two. Definitely, so. I'm excited. Arrow's right now has regained my trust. I, I'm totally excited for this. Also, a little inside, a little you know, inside Six seasons, David. inside information. We were at yeah. the Warner Brothers television party last night. Yeah. Um, not really sure how I got in there, but <laughs> I made my I made my way in there, and uh, we got to hang out with some of the cast. Yeah, they were uh, awesome. I stood next to David Ramsey. Uh, who Diggle is, is Diggle? He is a beast. He's a he's big just, man. Just, he's my size, but just yoked. He, is he your size? Is that he right? might be a half inch taller. <laughs> might be a half inch. Your taller. height. He's not my so height. Much Sorry, no, size. not my size. No, he's not jacked. Yeah, he's huge. But yes. they're very, what I mean is they're very nice people. Yes, nice to hang around and to have a drink with. And we are big fans of Arrow. So uh, a special thanks to CW for bringing mm -hmm. all of the panels. Everybody that came out uh, was a ton of fun. And thank you guys so much for watching all of the Collider TV Talk footage that we brought you from San Diego Comic Con. It's been a blast uh, being here. Yes, it's been a blast seeing everything. Uh, let's get out of here, David. Where can the good people find you? Find me on Twitter and Instagram at Griffin D E. Of course, you know Sinead, Josh, you know Emma, the TV Talk crew. We're all here. We've had a. It's been a great time. It's been a fun time. Great time. A lot of TV. We're wrapping it up all on Monday on Collider TV Talk. You can see us live 2 p.m. and then starting July 31st, mm -hmm. we are crushing it daily, every day for you guys. Collider TV Talk. We made it. We survived San Diego yeah. Comic Con 2017. Again, thank you guys so much for watching all of this footage. Let us know what you think, what you liked. If you were at the con and you saw us, whatever. Check out all the videos. Hall H, movies, TV, trailer reactions, interviews. We did it all, and we did it all together. Especially, I want to send a special thanks out to the entire cast of Preacher, especially Ruth Nega and her passion for rutabagas. I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram. We'll see you when we're back in the studio in lovely Los Angeles.